Hi everyone, marhaba, marhaba. This is Shariq and this is Tango and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. Today's lesson is a combination between modern standard Arabic and Lebanese Arabic, so it's not separate this time because what I'm going to talk about today is something you will need both, even if you're learning modern standard Arabic or you're learning Lebanese Arabic. This is to answer a question from one of my YouTube students. So here is the answer. Before I begin, of course, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram if you find my videos useful and if you like my tutorials. This will encourage me, of course, to upload more and more lessons on a daily basis. Let's begin. So one of my students was asking me, why do I use a number three, a number seven or a number two when I'm writing, when I'm transcribing my texts? If you notice, I write in Arabic and under it, I try to write the way we pronounce it in English. So I'm going to answer this question. Before I begin, actually, I want to tell you that there is no right and wrong way of writing things because there is no standard way of writing it. People use different letters or different numbers to express themselves. Um, for example, here in Lebanon, when I'm writing a message to my friends, a family member or something on WhatsApp, I don't write using Arabic letters, although I would be speaking Arabic. We usually speak Arabic, but we use English letters or French, which is the same, Latin letters basically, okay? So I'm gonna start with number seven. Number seven is like an H sound. It's not H as in hotel or human, no, it's a H something that doesn't exist in English. That's why we use a number seven, because the actual letter ha in Arabic looks a bit similar to number seven. That's where it came from. So it's a ha. Try to say with me, ha, hu, and he. There is a special lesson on this letter. I'm gonna leave it in the description box down below. Go to it, click on it, and try to practice it as much as you can. Now, I, oh, oh, Tango jumped from the couch for, for the first time. He's growing up now. Okay, so there is also a number three that I use, okay? So that number three is the sound, like an angry dog. You know when Tango goes, goes angry, he goes like, that's it, okay? So it's something also that doesn't exist in English. That's why I use a number three for it, and a lot of people use a number three for it, because in Arabic, the letter ain, looks similar a little bit to number three. Okay, so let's say together. You can try to press on your throat with your hands and go. And. Okay, I also use a number two, which is a pause. It's a. Uh. A lot of people use an apostrophe instead of the number two. I personally use the number two. Now, um, what exactly is this pause and how does it work in Arabic? In English, we have it, but you don't notice it. For example, if I want to use the word apple, right? Do you say apple or you say apple? You're actually saying uh, apple, okay? We have the same in Arabic. It's a uh, but we use a number two for it. The difference is that we find it also in the middle of the words and at the end of the words. So for example, try to say with me, ba, just ba, and now try to say ba. You see, that's the pause, ba. That's why I use a number two for that pause, even if it's in the middle of the word or at the end of the word. So we have number seven, ha, number three, ah, number two, uh, which is the pause. <laughs> Ta. So, number seven, the one that I use, a lot of people, and a lot of Arabic books, by the way, use a capital H, so that they distinguish between the normal H, huh, as in hundred, and the capital H, which is the H. But again, as I said, oh. you see he's going, so that's the number three. Ah. Okay? So, uh, where, what was I saying? Okay, so as I said, we have number seven, number three, and number two. We also have a KH, but it's not a K, H. We don't pronounce it K, no. We pronounce it H, H. 
And some people use a number five to represent that kh sound. So let's say it together. Kha, khu, and khi. Again, kha, khu, khi. Remember like the spitting sound? Kh, when you go kh, pff, like that? That's exactly how it works. Kha, khu, khi. We also have a GH, like in my name, Shagrig. So some people think my name is Shagrig. It's a G and a H, which I write in the middle, which is wrong. It's a R, the gargling sound. So let's say together. R, R, and R. Okay? And we already have a lesson for that, a special lesson for this letter. I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below. So go check it out so you can also practice it with lots of words. So let me recap the whole thing. I want to tell you what is the name of every letter. So I was representing them now as sounds, but they are actually also letters, of course, in Arabic. So number seven is the H sound, but the name of the letter is H. Number three is the a sound and the name of the letter is ein number two is the a sound the pause the name of the letter some people refer to it as a letter some people refer to it as not a letter it's called a hamza this hamza has the a sound so the name is hamza then we also have the kh the kh the sound is kh and the name of the letter is and finally, we have the R, the R sound, and the name of the letter is Rain. So, one of the tips that I can give you to remember these sounds and not to forget them, and also to remember the symbols, is to associate them with different sounds in life. So, for example, if we go back to number seven, the H. You can remember that it sounds like you are blowing the air out and you're cleaning your glasses. Ha! The number three, as we said, it's like an angry dog. The number two is a pause. In between words. The GH is like gargling. You can even put water in your mouth and you can try it. It really works that way. So it's the gargling sound. And finally, the KH, the H, is like a spitting sound when you're doing H, like that. That's it for today. I hope you liked it. Tango! 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 That's it for today. I hope you liked it. And I'm gonna just say bye to you with Tango. <laughs> Tango is very, very hyper today. And he's playing behind the camera with my sister. So that's why he's a little bit busy. So let's say bye. Bye, Tango! Bye! See you next time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow. مع السلامة. Bye! Yalla, bye! شوفكن بكرة. Bye! Bye, Tango. Bye! 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 Sorry. <laughs>